morning, everyone. My name is Ife West, and uh, I'm from Nigeria. Welcome to Afro Scientific Spirituality. This is the channel where we separate the facts from the fiction, the concept from the misconceptions, and the uh, science from the superstition about African spirituality. Today, I'm going to be talking about the three most powerful darkest love spell that is naturally possible. These spells are so dark that uh, they are actually in the classifications of abomination because the way to do them is actually considered abominable yes and uh, the effects are very very devastating to the subjects and uh, it can actually be also quite devastating to the caster as well so you need to know this before we proceed in this video, I will also state a disclaimer that the information you are going to receive here should be used on your own violation. You are on your own. I will not be held liable for any use, misuse, abuse, misinterpretation misunderstanding of this information once again use at your own peril whatever benefits or repercussions or consequences you are going to bear it alone i will not be there so you have to know this and we have to assume that you are a responsible adult capable of making right decision and capable of knowing what is good or what is bad. Okay, so let's proceed. First of all, I want to state my view on love spell, the way I see love spells and what I think about them. Love spells are spells that people do for love in order to ensnare a trapped or hijack the attention of somebody to make the person more affectionate towards them, more loving towards them, or to get more favors from that person. Or at the worst case scenario, to enslave a human being to their will, to bind somebody to their internal will in this lifetime. Spells, quite naturally, love spells for love. This is a situation that have always been happening since mankind, I believe since humans discovered sex in the beginning of time. Males have always been doing things to get the attention of females. Females too have naturally been doing things to get the attention of men. We will see men going out of their way to get gift items, provide food, clothing, shelter, anything to make their females feel happy or feel wanted. We also see women doing all sorts of crazy things to get the attention of men. Women putting makeups, spending two, three hours in front of mirrors, painting fingernails, rubbing powders, painting their lips, eyelashes, ear lashes, earrings, hair extensions. Some of them go to the extent of doing plastic surgeries radical plastic surgeries, all in the name of trying to get attention from men. 
we are seeing men going to get items that they cannot afford, stealing items, stealing money, stealing resources, all to impress women. We we'll see men buying very, very expensive cars, expensive items, things that they don't really need, all to impress women, to get more women into their life. In my own view, all these things you do to attract more love or attention from the opposite sex, they are all spells. I see them as spells, whether you like them or not. When you as a man go to buy that overly expensive car, you take a loan to buy that car just so you can be the top of the town. Car that you don't really need. You are actually kind of doing a spell to ensnare or to make yourself more, put yourself in a position to be seen, to be considered by females as a very table partner to those females. You are actually doing a spell. You are casting a spell by doing all those things. When you go to buy those expensive perfumes, expensive clothes, the latest fashion, you go to the shopping mall, you buy so many gift items to send to a love interest just to make that person notice you. That is a spell. That is why I see it. The same thing with what the women does. When they get those expensive air they cannot afford, air extensions, you already have natural air, you are still trying to enhance it in every way possible. Changing your voice, dressing in a certain way, wearing short skirts, exposing yourself, exposing your ass, your breasts, painting all your fingernails. You notice that this work, right? People actually look at you. Men go crazy. Men fall, break things, get accidents just because of your appearance. What you are doing is you are casting a spell on everybody around you to make them notice you, to make them want you. There is no difference between you and somebody that goes to meet a spiritualist or a Dibia to give them a portion or a kind of material so that you can apply to make people love you. There's no difference between you and that person. Both of you, all of you are spell casters and people cast spells every day, whether they like it or not, or whether they know they are doing it or not. We cast spells on each other on a daily basis in life. The only difference is that some people know how to do it better than other people. Some are actually experts at doing it. Some are masters of the game. Some are mistress of the art of seduction. Why some are just doing it out of uh, their natural instincts, but they don't know they're actually casting spells. But we cast spells on each other. We cast love spells every day when we go out. I see women every day trying to get attention of men based on how they look, how they're living their life too. They live their life in a certain way that when a man sees them, the man will try to do everything within their power to get them, to come in contact with them. People cast spells on me every day. Women cast spells on me every day, but I know them. I know what they are doing. When I look at this woman, I know exactly where she is going. But I have to be focused. So this is what happens every day. Men cast spells on women every day, dressing up, trying to impress, doing what they cannot do, trying to pose, almost all posers as spell casters, slay queens, slay kings, trying to live a life that is fake, just to impress people, to get them to like you, trying to get fans and followers. All those things I see, I see on Facebook, on social media, those are all spells. It's no difference between them and the people practicing one or two forms of magic, white magic, black magic. 
to get women. People go to church and their prayer point is to get a husband or to get the, the most beautiful women. People pray on their knees every day for this. Is that no spell? When you're asking a higher power for help to get the, to get women or to get men, what are you doing when you are praying for a, a husband? When you're praying for, for women, for a wife? You are casting spells, okay? There's no difference between you and somebody else doing it based on their own spirituality or based on their own religious uh, observations. So, people cast spells every day. So there's nothing evil about casting a spell. If you know or you feel that you don't have enough love in your life and you really need love, you need companionship, you feel that you deserve it, you cannot live without it, you are feeling empty and you really want your life to be complete. You have tried every means possible. You are not being successful. There are ways to do it naturally. And uh, I will try to tell you how to do it the way I, some of the ways I have seen people do it. This channel is an empowerment channel. I am here to expose this knowledge of African spirituality to empower our people because I'm tired of seeing people being helpless, seeing people playing, going around circles all their life. They don't know what to do. I have seen this situation so much. So I want to try to see if I can give people some pointers of things that they can do to spice up their love life or to get more love to their love life. If one or two people can be able to benefit from it, then I would have succeeded. And I believe that we need more love in this world. So that's why I decided to focus on love spell for maybe about five or six videos and I will talk about another topic. So today I'm reviewing three most powerful darkest love spells that you can do as a natural human being. You already have the ingredients in you, but you don't know how to do it. These spells, anybody can do them once again. It is not actually a magic. It is, I would say, a hack. Okay? You don't need to call any spirit. You don't need to say any incantations, abracadabra, blah, blah, blah. You just do it mm -hmm. and you you see results people have been doing it for thousands of years and they have been very successful at it and people are still doing it today and people will still do it tomorrow so let's talk about it the first one is uh, urine of course I have done two videos about using urine on love spell before Today, the first one is urine. Urine, we know, comes from the reproductive organ. It's a byproduct. What science has been able to discover that it contains some hormones, how will I say, enzymes in the human body that are, your DNA is inside the urine. Researchers have found that uh, if the urine of somebody is given to another person of the opposing sex for within maybe two, three to seven times. You can actually get that person to fall in love with you. The way people do this is that they take a tiny bit of their urine, they add it to the drink of the love interest. You do it in such a way that the person will not perceive it in the drink. You feed them that part of your DNA composition, maybe three, seven times. Anytime the person comes to you, you put a little of the urine in the drink, or the person is your husband or your boyfriend, you find out that they are not giving you the attention anymore. The relationship is dying. You want to rekindle that flame or you want more attention, you can decide to add it to the drink of that person. 
and uh, fall in love. The only drawback is that when they fall in love with you, you can't easily get rid of them anymore. You will be stuck with them. So you, we need to want to know if you are ready for for that kind of relationship. If you want to be seeing the person all the time before you go about doing this kind of thing. That's why it's very dark to get somebody to drink your own urine against their will. If the person catch you doing that, you're in a very big problem. But people have been doing this in the magical circles and it's very effective. The other way, number two, is the use of sexual fluids your seminal fluid, your sperm, and the vagina discharge. It has also been used by people in the past to add to the food or drinks of the love interest. And the love interest also falls in love. It also has to be done about three to seven times. Once you get this into the person, they are kind of turn on to only you and they always think about you and the person only do what you tell them and also the person will be stuck with you as well it's a very dark love spell mm -hmm. for you to give your sexual fluids to somebody to ingest that's why it's dark but it works like a sham both parties can do it the women can give to the men the men will fall in love, the men can also give their sperm to the woman, the woman falls in love. So, it is actually very dark, but it works like a sham. Once again, you don't need to call the name of any deity, you just give it to the person and gradually the person falls madly in love with you. The third one, which is the most powerful and the most darkest one this one only a woman can do it this is the situation where the woman uses her menstrual blood menstrual discharge to feel the man this one has been used very very much in the past in fact in my state in nigeria it is very very popular this particular spell I grew up hearing about this spell before I even know what sex is. The traditional name of this spell is uh, Egbele Kokomiyo. Most people from Nigeria, West Africa, we know that name very well. It is the name given to it by the Ishekiri tribe in Delta States. There was a time the Ishekiri women were very notorious for using this spell on men whereby they feed this Billy Kokomiyo to the man and the man goes crazy, totally crazy the man don't just falls in love they die in love they dies in love it's composed of them adding a portion of their menstrual blood into the food of this man and the man dies in love the man will become totally ensnared by the woman he will totally fall in love with this lady in fact he will become the slave of the lady and he, he only does what the lady tells him to do this is where you see men are being turned to house boys and messengers by their women in, in the other state. We have seen it a lot. Whereby the man will start doing the domestic work in the house. The man will start cooking, cleaning, sweeping the house, going to the markets, washing clothes of the woman, doing everything that the woman tells the man to do by eating this ebili kokomio. This spell is very popular in data states in the Niger data area 
So there are some certain kind of women that are notorious for using this spell of, on men. There's another traditional name we call them in the Rubo tribe, my tribe. We call those kind of women, uh, how would I say, they, they call them Omotube. The traditional name is Omotube. These are women that are not with their husbands anymore. They are usually divorcees. They are very beautiful, powerful, very influential, and also very diabolical. They normally feed the Igbele Kokomiyo to young men and wealthy men. And then they'll tell these men to give them all their money. The man will build a house for them. We open a business for them. We do so many things for them. They will take all the money from this man. Then they will chase the man away, empty-handed. The man will also later die out of frustration or depression. In some cases, if the man is still too stubborn, or they can't, the man cannot give them everything that we actually poison the man to death, then they will take over the property of this man. This is how these people operate. And this very spell that they use is the spell of uh, feeding the menstrual blood to the man. It is a very, very powerful, potent love spell. The effects are very devastating and it does not really have any uh, reversal. But according to the grapevine, a way to reverse this kind of spell is to try to give the P of the man to, for him to drink. In fact, the three of this love spell, the urine, the sexual fluids, and the menstrual uh, love spell, the way to reverse it is to get that person, that is the victim, to try to get them to be drinking their own pee so that it will clear their eyes for them to see, for them to realize that they have been under a spell. But for the process of giving them their own pee, it's also another problem as well because it will be very difficult for them to get them to drink their own pee to clear their eyes. So there's actually no reversal. These spells have been used to destroy the life of many, many men in Delta State in Nigeria. When the man has become totally dependent on the woman, he does not have any will of his own. Most times you see the women start maltreating these men, abusing them, sending them to do all sorts of manual jobs, things that you know that a man will not do, an African man will not do on his own sense. You will see the men start doing this, then you will see the women start insulting the men. After they have taken everything from them, they will say you are lazy, you don't have a job, you can't walk, you don't do anything, you are good for nothing. They start insulting this man, which is very, very bad. People will start having questions. The man will just be there without will, totally hopeless. Totally hopeless and depressed. And at the end of the day, the women will leave this man, they will or they will push them away. That is how the life of the man will become destroyed. So these are the dangerous effects of the spell. You have to be very, very careful with this kind of thing. I wanted to expose it in this channel to know that this is what is obtainable. This is what happens. If you don't really love somebody, you should not eat their food. Most times where I come from, there's a saying like that. If you don't want to get involved with the person, love them, don't eat their food. There are some particular tribes that when you mention it in my state, men will run away, we will just tell you that if you go there, you are going to die because they are very notorious for this. The women of that tribe always do this to men. They always feed men this food and they turn the men, they make the men stupid and they take everything from the men, including the children from the man. There's a particular tribe that is notorious for this very spell, this is a really So 
It is not something that is not new. It is very, very popular. If you feel that your love interest is maybe promiscuous or it's not paying you much attention, it's not giving you enough love, you can use a little to make them all love into you. But if you do it too much, you're going to destroy the life of that person because it does destroy the life of the person. It makes them die in love. It's a very dangerous, dark love spell, the most darkest love spell that humans can naturally do, that people are doing. So this is the three love spells for you. I hope that you enjoy the the presentation like and share this video i would like to know about your opinions questions and comments are welcome and um, i will see you in the next video take care and bye